Come then, servants of darkness. Let's see if Hell's hounds and the Devil's wolves can match the fury of God's hound. Give it up, old man. Your time is over. The Devil's reign is at hand. As long as I draw breath, I'll fight your master's evil. Arrow! In the depths of the Livonian forests, a battle rages that few mortals will ever witness. This is no ordinary wolf, but a man, Tees of Kaltenbrunn, an 80-year-old peasant with an extraordinary secret. But this is just one skirmish in a war that has raged for decades. A war fought in the shadows, beyond the understanding of most mortals. To truly comprehend the story of Tees of Kaltenbrunn, we must journey back. Thies of Kaltenbrunn, you stand accused of lycanthropy and consorting with demonic forces. How do you plead? Your honors, I plead only that you listen to my tale with open minds and hearts. For what I have to say will challenge everything you believe about our world. Proceed, but be warned. Fantastical tales will not save you from the punishment your crimes deserve. It began nearly 60 years ago, when I was but a young man. I was approached by a stranger from Marienburg. He offered me a drink, saying it would grant me great power. I was young and foolish, and I accepted. That night, I transformed for the first time. But it was not a curse, as you might believe. It was a gift, a gift from God himself. Blasphemy! How dare you claim your foul transformations are divine in nature? I speak only the truth, your honor. We werewolves are not servants of darkness, but hounds of God. Our purpose is to protect the harvest and the people from the true evil that plagues our land. The witches and evil werewolves who serve the devil. Thrice a year, on the eaves of Pentecost, St. John's and St. Lucia's, we descend into hell itself. There we fight to reclaim the grain blossoms and seeds that the witches have stolen, ensuring prosperity for our land. You expect us to believe you physically enter hell? Indeed, your honor. The entrance lies in a swamp below Lemberg, about half a mile from Klingenberg. It's a place of dark wonder, lordly chambers guarded by the devil's own doorkeepers. Let me tell you of our most recent battle. The night grows long, and the scent of evil thickens. It's time. Indeed. The witches and the devil's wolves will be making their move soon. I can feel the malevolence in the air, like a storm about to break. I... I don't know if I can do this. It's my first time, and I'm scared. What if I let everyone down? Fear not, lad. God has chosen us for this task. We are his hounds, and we will not fail. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear, but acting in spite of it. Aye, pup. First time's always the hardest. Stick close to me and you'll be fine. The pain. It never gets easier. But with it comes power. Purpose. I feel my senses sharpening, my old aches fading. In this form, I am as God intended. His warrior. His protector. Brimstone and something else. The gates of hell have opened, but we're not alone. Evil werewolves? Aye, be on your guard. They'll be hungry for a fight. I sense dark magic at work. The witches are performing a powerful ritual. I... I can feel it too. It's like ice in my veins. Yes, sisters. Feed our master's hunger. With each grain we steal, our power grows. Soon, we'll bleed this land dry. Hurry up, you cackling crones. I smell the godhounds approaching. Their stench of righteousness fouls the air. Remember your training. Anna, take the left flank. Your magic will be crucial in countering their spells. Carl, you're with me on the right. We'll take on the bulk of their forces. Jacob, stay close to the center. Watch our backs and be ready to assist where needed. Understood. May God's light guide our path. About time. I've been itching for a good fight. I... I'm ready. I won't let you down. Intruders! The hounds of God are upon us. Tear them apart! Your master's reign ends here, beast. Fool! The devil's power grows with each passing moment. Soon, even your precious God won't be able to save you. Your pitiful tricks are no match for our dark arts, wolf witch. I am no witch but a servant of the Divine. 
Your corruption ends now! Come on, you mangy curs! Is this the best the devil can muster? This is... this is incredible! I never knew I had this in me! Peace! The portal grows stronger by the second! I can't close it from here! We'll have to go in! Then that's what we'll do! Jakob, Carl, hold them off! Anna, with me! Poor little pups, all alone. Did your Alpha abandon you? Perhaps you'd like to join a real pack. Never. We fight for all of Livonia. Even wretched servants of darkness like you. There's still hope for your souls if you turn back now. That's right. These and Anna fight for us all. Your master offers nothing but lies and destruction. There. That's where they're keeping the stolen harvest. The very lifeblood of our land. Let's make this quick. I don't fancy staying in this place any longer than necessary. The very air feels... wrong. Push through! We're almost there! I don't know how much longer I can maintain this shield. The darkness here is... overwhelming. Well, well, if it isn't the mongrels who've been nipping at my heels, have you come to join my kennels at last? I must say I'm impressed by your tenacity. We serve only one master, and it isn't you, Fallen One. Oh, but don't you see? You're in my realm now. Here I am, God, and I've been longing to add some new pets to my collection. Your lies hold no power here, Deceiver. We know our true purpose. Purpose? Let me show you true purpose. You dare to challenge me in my own domain? Foolish creatures. Your domain is built on stolen power, demon. We've come to take back what's rightfully ours. Your reign of terror ends now! Hold fast, Jakob. Peace and Anna will return. Have faith! I do. I can feel it. We're winning! Peace! I've got it! We need to go! No. You dare to steal from me? It was never yours to begin with, Fallen One. Now, my friends, help us spread the blessing. No, our master's bounty. We're fading. This isn't over, Thies. We'll be back. The devil's reach is long and his memory longer. And we'll be here to meet you every time. This land is under our protection. By all that's holy, we did it. The land is safe for now, but they'll be back. And we'll be ready for them, won't we? Indeed we will, young one. Indeed we will. And so your honors. That is but one of the many battles we've fought to protect our land and our people. We are not evil, but guardians, chosen by God to stand against the darkness that threatens to consume us all. But what of your broken nose? How did that come to pass if you are as powerful as you claim? Ah, this. It was in a battle not long ago against a particularly fierce evil werewolf named Skystan. We fought for control of a vital wheat field. The air's thick with malice tonight. Sky stands close. I can smell his foul stench. Well, well. If it isn't the old guardian himself, still playing lapdog to a silent god. Peace. Better a hound of heaven than a cur of hell, Skystan. Leave this place. These fields are under my protection. Protection? Look around, you old fool. The world's changing. The old ways are dying. It's time for the strong to take what's theirs. Strength without righteousness is nothing, Skystan. You're just a pawn in the devil's game. Better a pawn with power than a relic clinging to false hope. He's stronger than before. The devil's influence grows. But I can't let him win. Too much depends on this. Give it up, old man. Your time is past. Let the strong rule. The weak deserve to fall. And who decides who's weak, Skystan? Your master? The same being who fell from grace due to his own pride? Enough talk. I'll tear out your heart and present it to my master. I'm tiring, but I can't give up. This field, this land, it's more than just wheat. It's hope. It's life. I must protect it! Time to put you down, you mangy godhound. Any last words before I send you to your silent master? You may kill me, Skystan, but you'll never destroy what I stand for. As long as there's faith, there will always be guardians to stand against the darkness.
Noble words. Let's see if they protect you from this. Can't give up. The field must protect. I may fall, but others will rise to take my place. This ends now, Skistan. In the name of all that's holy, I cast you out. What? What is this? What are you do doing? Calling upon the strength of the land you sought to corrupt. Feel its judgment, Skystan. No, this is impossible. You're just an old dog. You can't have this power. I am more than just a werewolf, Skystan. I am a guardian, chosen by forces you can't comprehend. This land rejects you and your master's influence. This isn't over, Tease. My master will send others. You've won no nothing. Then we'll be here to meet them, every time. This land is under our protection, now and always. Thank you. Thank you for lending me your strength. I'll continue to watch over you, always. The battle is won, but the war continues. I must prepare the next generation. They'll need all the strength they can get for what's coming. And that, your honors, is how I came by this old war wound. A reminder of the constant battle we fight to protect our lands and our people. This is... This is beyond anything we've ever encountered. Peace of Kaltenbrun. If what you say is true... Whether you choose to believe or not, the truth remains, your honor. The forces of darkness are real and they seek to destroy all we hold dear. My brothers and I stand as the last line of defense. Will you stand with us or against us? I bear this broken nose as a badge of honor, your honor, a reminder of the cost of our sacred duty. This is quite a tale, Tees of Kaltenbrun, but surely you don't expect us to believe. I expect nothing, your honor. I have told you the truth as I know it. Whether you choose to believe is up to you. But I ask you this. Have you not noticed how the harvests flourish in the years when we are successful? How the fish are plentiful and the trees bear rich fruit? Very well. We will deliberate on your testimony, but be warned. If this is some elaborate deception, the punishment will be severe. And so, after much deliberation, the verdict was handed down. According to the transcript from the High Court of Dorpat, dated October 31st, 1692, the judgment read as follows. Accordingly, as the accused has made clear by his own testimony, for many years he showed himself to be a werewolf. He ran about with others, was also in hell, and in such groups he stole livestock from others and helped commit more acts of the same sort. It is not only in this case that one should regard all this as a diabolical delusion, since such an opinion is also accepted before this court. Neither through the court's pronouncements, nor the moving speech by the Herr Pastor of Jürgensburg, did the accused let himself be led away from these deeds, nor did he uphold the vow he previously swore to the local Herr Pastor, nor did he listen to the Holy Word, nor did he present himself to take the Holy Sacrament. Rather, since he pronounced all sorts of prophecies and blessings strongly forbidden by the highest divine and lay authorities, thereby powerfully sinning against himself and the others whom he led into superstition, it is fair to consider this and punish him according to the severity of the law due to his truly weighty and vexatious offenses. However, in view of his advanced age, only twenty pairs of blows will be administered by the hand of the Scharf Trichter of Lemberg before a public gathering of the peasantry in the parish, whose Herr Pastor will explain the terms of the sentence to demonstrate the offense of this malefactor to the bystanders to warn others against the same vexatious and punishable conduct and to warn them against superstitions. Thereafter, the accused will be condemned to banishment from the land forever. T.S. of Kaltenbrun, do you understand the sentence that has been passed? I understand, Your Honor. Though I maintain that I have done no wrong, I will submit to the court's judgment. 
Then let the sentence be carried out. Take him to the town square. Good people of Lemberg, witness now the punishment of Tees of Kaltenbrunn, found guilty of practicing forbidden arts and leading others into superstition. Let his fate be a warning to all who would stray from the path of righteousness. So it comes to this, but they don't understand. The moon rises, and with it, my strength. Perhaps, perhaps this is not the end. What, what was that sound? I am sorry it came to this. I only ever sought to protect our land. Remember that when the crops fail and the livestock sicken, there are darker things than me in this world. After him! Don't let the beast escape! Forgive me, but my work is not yet done. The devil's forces grow stronger, and I must be there to meet them. What... what have we done? What have we unleashed? May God have mercy on us all, for we have seen with our own eyes that there are indeed more things in heaven and earth than our philosophies have dreamt of. Tears of Kaltenbrunn passed into legend. Did he continue his battles against the forces of darkness, or did he retreat deep into the forests, only to emerge in times of great need? On moonlit nights, some swear a lone wolf can be heard, a guardian still watching over the land. The courtroom doors slammed shut on the Livonian werewolf, a man both condemned and revered. Yet, his tale spread, weaving into Livonian folklore. Around crackling fires, the story of the old man who claimed to be God's hound became a chilling legend. Scholars debated the veracity of his claims. Was Tees a madman? A charlatan? Or did his claims contain a glimmer of truth? These questions haunted those who dared to listen, fueling a thirst for knowledge. Thies's saga forces us to confront uncomfortable truth, the power of belief, the enduring nature of evil, and the lengths to which ordinary people will go to protect their communities. As we conclude this chapter on the Livonian werewolf, we're left with more questions than answers. But perhaps that's the beauty of it. In a world where the lines between myth and reality blur, it's the questions that ignite our curiosity and propel us to seek the unknown. Remember, in the words of the great Carl Sagan, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. We invite you, our intrepid viewers, to join the conversation. Have you heard unexplainable tales in your own communities? Share your stories, your theories, your doubts. Let's explore the mysteries together. Like and subscribe to DeadNet Studios. Thank you for venturing into the shadows with us. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled, your minds open, and remember, the truth is out there. And now, here's a sneak peek at what's coming up next week. Your breath crystallizes in the air. Each exhale a stark reminder of your fragility in this merciless expanse. You stand at the precipice of the Alaska Triangle, where reality itself seems to waver like a mirage. A gust of wind, sharp as a knife's edge, nearly topples you. As you steady yourself, a chilling thought invades your mind. Two thousand souls have vanished into this wilderness in the past year alone. Your heart pounds, not just from the biting cold, but from the terrifying realization that here, in this frozen hell, people disappear at a rate twenty-seven times higher than anywhere else on Earth. The icy tendrils of fear creep up your spine as you contemplate the forces at work. Forces that defy explanation, logic, and perhaps the very laws of nature. Suddenly, the ground beneath your feet convulses, a violent tremor that sends you stumbling. Your mind races. Is this one of Alaska's thousand monthly earthquakes or something far more sinister? As you struggle to regain your footing, you spot a plume of ash erupting from a distant volcano, its ominous cloud blotting out the wan sunlight. The very earth seems to shift around you, and you can't shake the feeling that something is manipulating the landscape itself. Desperate for shelter, you plunge into a forest so dense it swallows all light, leaving you in a twilight world of shadows and uncertainty. Ancient trees loom overhead, their branches scraping against your jacket. A twig snaps behind you. You whirl around, heart in your throat, but see nothing. Your eyes dart nervously, searching for movement. Was that flickering shadow just a trick of your panicked mind? or the shape-shifting form of a kushtaka, the mythical creature said to lure travelers to their doom. You break free of the suffocating forest, only to face the vast, unforgiving tundra. Its serene blanket of snow conceals a treacherous maze of sinkholes and crevasses. You know they're there, waiting to claim another victim, and each step fills you with dread. 
The eerie silence is shattered by a woman's blood-curdling scream for help. Every instinct screams at you to rush to her aid. But the haunting tales of the Kushtaka freeze you in place. Doubt gnaws at you. Is it a genuine cry of distress or a malevolent trick designed to lure you to your death? Without warning, the capricious Alaskan weather turns deadly. One moment you're squinting against the ethereal glow of the midnight sun, the next you're engulfed in a blizzard so fierce it steals the very breath from your lungs as the temperature plummets to an impossible 60 below. Your skin prickles with the terrifying knowledge that exposed flesh will freeze in mere seconds. A new fear grips you. Is this sudden violent storm a natural phenomenon or something conjured by the mysterious electromagnetic anomalies you've heard whispered about? A light pierces the swirling snow, and hope flares in your chest. Could it be the warm glow of a cabin, salvation from this frozen nightmare? But as it draws nearer, hovering impossibly in the air your blood runs cold. The light flares with an otherworldly intensity, bathing the landscape in eerie, unnatural hues. Your mind reels as you face a chilling possibility. Is this a UFO, its alien occupants more interested in abduction than first contact? Disoriented and frantic, you fumble for your compass, but the needle spins wildly, rendering it useless. Your GPS flickers and dies. Panic sets in as you realize the triangle's energy vortexes have left you completely vulnerable. Each stumbling step could be taking you further from safety or closer to the enigmatic black pyramid you've read about in hushed forums online. Is its ancient, unknowable power real? Is it somehow behind the inexplicable events unfolding around you? In the shadows of the digital night